This allegory of aliens invading humans is actually the awakening of the mind that has been in slumber because of the mental hibernation period. The cause is a list of things, positions of planets, suns, stars. This is an infinite upon infinite upon infinite. Infinites of infinites of infinites to the infinite power of the infinite power of infinite. Once you get the grasp of this thing, do not put a positive charge or negative charge on anything. You have to look at it like you're from somewhere else with another family and rank that you have that is like here but your own. Then imagine you were just placed here for a cause. Be a hero for a cause. But that cause can't be disagreeable to anything or belligerent or argumentative. It has to be neutral with no limiting beliefs or judgments because these are human constructs. They have no official origin of us as an evolving species. With this newfound perception, you'll be open to infinite potential. Everything will be more vibrant, and once you're vibrating on royalty and holy respect for all that you come across, all that you come across will have holy respect in return, cause and effect, law of attraction. Vibrate on fear, get fear. Vibrate on care, get care. This alien invasion is just an allegory, meaning beings with this mentality are gonna spread. Kill off the identity or the ego of the human race. Not the human race themselves. Once you get truly conscious, the illusion of the ego vanishes and you now live back in the spiritual realm while you are still on earth. Reputations vanish and there are no more secrets. This is the Merkaba. Not reading minds, but in geometric resonance with higher levels of intelligence, tuning directly in to source. So telepathy, clairvoyance, these will be old phenomenons as new rays of light, higher degrees of light shine in as darkness turns to light, or I should say darker turns lighter, because we are all in degrees of the all. This shift or gravitational pull from these oncoming energies will be so intensely different that from resistance, there will be ripping and clawing for survival. There will be grinding and gnashing of teeth. The illusion will come crashing as the son of man returns triumphantly. The minute every person starts caring about others more than themselves is when the floodgates of love will be open. Love is granted by the intent. Selfish love is limited. Selfless love is infinite. If you love more than just one person, God's gonna have to give you more love. If you're teaching, God is gonna have to give you more knowledge to teach. The minute you decide to be selfish, spirit turns on you instead of for you, then works against you instead of by you. This is absolute law. You must know good from evil, not misuse knowledge. There are many gods, but there is only one, all omnipotent God, and that's law which governs. For the sons of God, the Elohim, the Anunnaki, the Nephilim, the fallen angels, these are beings who know good from evil, hence choose evil or go against law. You must turn that wrong into a right by correcting and perfecting yourself. The only true God is law. Move up in rank. You must know but also believe. On every frequency there is malevolent and benevolent beings. So some are there to help and some are there to hurt. But remember to every hurt there's a help and to every help there's a hurt. There is nothing that is constant but change and nothing that is perfect but law. Physical plane, mental plane, a spiritual plane vibrate from thought. Superheroes and the other also conscious but turns villain and goes out in a blaze of glory. Shake hands and become one newly evolved superhero.